Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to Mama Schmooze Homeschool Reviews where I share all things about homeschool on here. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys these devotionals and I have a separate video on the indescribable devotion. This is a devotional about God and science and so is this one. They're both pretty much the same themes that they talk about which is space, people, animals, and humans. This one we use a lot for unit studies and when I discovered this book I had to share it here on YouTube because it is such a good book for homeschool moms and it's a good book for like grandparents to have, um, for kids to read. Um, on their own independently because it's really really interesting and the illustrations are pretty amazing um, but I wanted to show you guys what the new one looks like it's called how great is our God and it's very similar to the other one that I shared with you guys in the flip through I'll link that down below they have these little icons here which you can see the space has like a Saturn and then there's like a little symbol for Earth with a globe and then a paw prints and then people so it's really neat how they do that I would love if they had it sectioned off in like categories like humans in one section under blue and animals are in another color, but I can see why they didn't do that because it is a devotional and you're reading it every day. So as I'm flipping through, I'll share with you guys what I used it for last year and it's really worked out great. So last year in our homeschool, we used a lot of it th uh, for unit studies and so it really um, was a fun thing to do and it just really helps like pull everything together especially when it comes to the bible and more of a easier way for a kid to understand now these devotionals are like for the ages of six to ten this is a really cool um, way to teach science through your homeschool if you guys like to do science once a week or some people like to do it every day this is a really great and easy and very simple way to make it real to your your kids and also it's talking about the bible which is really good in my book like i love it so that is why i like to share these videos with you guys on the books that i really like using and i like to share with you guys how i use them so in the morning time we use it in our morning basket and we'll read the the scripture and then there's some paragraphs to read and then there's a little prayer and then there's lots of facts at the end and some of the facts are really amazing so for instance this is a place that they dive in Mexico and they talk about it and we will go online on YouTube and I will try to find like a video that pertains to the place that they're talking about or about the animal they're talking about and we will just expand on it and extend the lesson for another like 10-15 minutes so after we read this we um, usually do our morning basket books and so sometimes you can go ahead and just combine it with another library book or a home library book that you have. It's just such an easy way to bring science in in a very organic sort of way. Another really cool way to use this Bible is just sticking to one a week. And you could read this devotional, for instance, Ephesians 3.20 and have them memorize this verse. And you can read this a couple times throughout the week. And then you can also watch YouTube videos or you can get books from your library and focus on that for science. So it can be something as simple as that. And you could um, wrap it around a memorization verse, which is always good. Or you could read it every single day. Some people just read through it every single day, which makes sense because that's what the devotional is all about. Um, but I like to wrap it around our unit studies. Or if sometimes my kids just want to learn about something, they'll look in the book and we'll find something that we just want to read together. You can and combine this together with your co-ops that you have, with science or um, anything really that you do with your homeschool friends and even have like a Bible study together. Um, if you want to have it at your home along with like a poetry tea time, you can do this and I think it'd be super fun and then you can do like a science experiment. So there's lots of really simple ways to make this work for you where you're not doing a whole lot and you're just opening it up and reading it and checking out a few videos or documentaries and checking out some books at the library and making it so fun. This one's talking about noses. How cute is that? Soak up the sun, the power of blood, no clowning around, and they're talking about a clownfish the river of life and then here's the index if you're looking for like a specific thing to talk about with your kids for instance like they love jaguars they have 11 page 11 and 33 and 61 talking about jaguars so if your kids want to read about something specific that they really are interested in have them look at the back of the book and then you guys can like read those devotions so now you have 200 devotions um 
about gotten science if you were looking to find something new for this year you might have read all of this so now they have a new one so I will link the Amazon link down below it would be very awesome if you guys can click that link it supports my channel in a very small way so it's nice because I'm able to purchase like a book like this for instance to be able to share with you guys on my channel when I get it and then it gives you guys a resource to use in your home thank school. you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in my next video bye